Hello, hello, everyone. I am Maxi Lobes. Pleasure to be here. Hello, chat. I hope everyone's doing well tonight. Uh, this is going to be a run of fear any percent. It's it's something. Uh, it's wild. So strap in, get your popcorn and your blankie. Uh, I have some lovely human beings on my virtual couch with me. Uh, waifu. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did a great job, though, so another round of applause for him. Uh, he'll be running Devil May Cry 3 later in the event, too, so if you can catch that, definitely it's a banger. Um, I also there, have bro. with me KZ Fru. Hello, what's going on? Uh, former world record holder of this game, actually, because one time he was like, Maxi, out of all the games you run, what should I try out? And I was like, Fear, and he was like, okay. And then he kind of <laughs> liked it, so he got world record, and I was like, that money. Is <laughs> That is true. I forgot about that, actually. Yeah, we had a conversation, <laughs> I think, at Asian Q 2020, yeah. Well, it was yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, it was, it was, because it was, it was a few was. months later. Yeah, I read that game. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun time. Him. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, uh, my bad, I guess. That's how it goes. Yeah, and then last but not least, Brian Otto. Hello, hi, thank you for having me, Maxi. Honestly, it's a pleasure. Uh, FPS veteran. We've watched him run mm. Titanfall 2, surely. Uh, and his control run too, and also been recently running Halo 3, which has been super fun to watch. Yeah, that game's great. So, and cool. there's a Halo 3 run on Thursday, which everybody should watch because it's going to be awesome. Definitely catch that, it's sick. Uh, but yeah, introductions all finished up. Without further ado, let's... Oh, okay. Yeah, hi. Hel hello, hi. Yeah, I still have anxiety from the last run. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm here you're to not, help. You're not being chased anymore, man. You're fine. You're safe. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's, it's I'm getting chased by this game though, because I used to run it, but I lost my times, so rip. <laughs> that is true. Life was a former runner of fear, but he's coming back. He will come Soon back. TM. Oh, that's exciting. Soon. I didn't know that. Make it happen. There's no hops in this game, but there are no but hops, there, but it is there are great got some interesting tech. Awesome. All right, we're ready. Out down Good from luck. five. Five. Oh, well, actually, wait. <laughs> Loading. It's a long five. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Virtual clapping begins here. <laughs> um, all I think right, we're going to so see some not normal things, right? Yes, yeah. Uh, but don't take any chances. We just skipped a, a bunch of cutscenes, and all of those cutscenes are supposed to explain what this game is and, you know, what you're doing and stuff, but, I, you know, we skipped them all, so you guys don't know a, a darn thing. But that's okay, because I'm here, and I'm going to explain things. Uh, I'm not going to explain what's happening on oh. the screen right now, though. This is this is something we'll have to do later. Uh, just know that this game has things in it that, uh, just the, yeah, they're a little weird looking. Okay. So, so what is this game about? This game is about a company named Armacam Technology Corporation. Uh, they are creating weapons and munitions and other crazy cool technological devices for, you know, most profitably, you know, war. Uh, so, you know, kind of, kind of corrupt things are happening at this company. They have a project named Project Origin. Now, Project Origin, uh, it, it, you know, they're trying to create a superhuman life form. And this superhuman life form is supposed to be able to te telekinetically control an army of synthetic soldiers. Yes. <laughs> That's, you're hearing me right. Uh, a bit wild. And these telekinetic soldiers are supposed to replace, you know, human lives that you would send out to war. You just have the superhuman controlling all of them. Uh, pretty cool concept, honestly, for a game. Uh, it's, you know, it's original for 2005. But uh, one of these superhuman uh, superhumans has gotten uh, a little out of hand. He's starting to take his abilities and use them for his own devices. The dead man's name was Charles Haber. So they're not working on a really bad platform for buying and playing PC games? Because I feel like that would be equally as bad. Project Origin. Armacam Game Store. <laughs> Let's go. So this is Paxton Fettel. He's one of the successful superhumans. Um, 
He did just knock us unconscious by slamming us with a plank of wood. Yes, that just happened. Uh, but more importantly, he just ate Charles Hambunger, and for those of you who have played Bug Snacks, you know that this is an offense to all of Bug Snacks, Grumpuses, and just the world. Uh, so he is definitely a bad, bad man. Uh, so he's taking all of these synthetic soldiers. He's 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 angry. He wants to kill all the people involved in creating him. See anything? And that is where the first encounter assault recon comes in, because that's what fear stands for. It's basically like a super crazy version of like a SWAT team, but they just deal with higher profile situations such as biohazardous stuff, and in this case, superhuman life forms going crazy. So that's fear. I just want to um, say the this game takes place in 2025, so there's still a chance for this to be IRL canon. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Please, God, no. <laughs> We're on our way. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I also want to give a quick shout outs to Monolith, the people who made this game back in 2005. Uh, they are super supportive of speedrunning. They actually love to see people run their games new and old, and there's quite a few that have actually been ran at GDQ. So, um, yeah, shout outs to them for being so generous and supportive. Uh, now that you've kind of understood what fear is about and what's going on, uh, yes, I, I see you, chat. Bunger. Bunger, indeed. Save the bungers. Uh, now we're gonna get into the nitty-gritty. The next, like, six minutes right here is going to be a lot of explanation. There's a lot to explain, so strap in. First things first, we're supposed to open... Oh, we get to watch this cutscene. This is unintended, but I, this is a cool cutscene. I, I was scared. It cut to black, and I'm like, that's not normal. Same, same. Yeah, same. <laughs> Hold on, what? <laughs> uh, Just immediately. Like, no, no, please. So n normally you skip this, I take it? Yes, you're supposed yeah. to jump uh -oh. over the gate and not see this, but, uh, yeah, we're supposed to, like, use controls to open this gate, and... These guys, we're just gonna leave them there for the rest of eternity. Good day, gentlemen. Yeah, that cutscene was a surprise. So, even though this game's primarily a first-person shooter, uh, there's punching. And yes, when you punch people in the face in this game, they just die instantly. It's very fast and, and good. We like that. That's good stuff. Good job, Point Man. <laughs> So we'll Turns out a being a super cool. soldier means you're really effective at combat. Yes, absolutely. Here, here's a slide kick. This dude's gonna do a sick backflip after I kick him in the ankles and thus killing him instantly. Uh, so yeah, lots of really fun melee in this game, despite being like a first-person shooter with a lot of heavy gunplay. Sir, move. Play. It was really uh, we're different. We're coming up to our next oh, trick sorry. called the box boost. Uh, box boost is probably like the first really wacky looking trick in the game. Oof. Uh, so we're gonna pick up these nades here, and these nades are extremely important because they're they're why we're able to do this next trick. We're gonna throw the grenade. It doesn't really matter where you throw it as long as you throw it in the room that you're in. Which, you know, this is the room we want to throw it. In. And the reason why we do this is because we need this box to fly in the air. I'll send you these guys to stop. But yeah, we need... Sir. No, I'm not going to die. <laughs> the pistol whip, dude. <laughs> yeah, we need this box to fly in the air. And uh, the grenade changes the way that gravity works in the room. So this box is not going to drop like a sack of potatoes Bro, as it usually what would. What the <laughs> hell? <God>. Try! <laughs> Four HP, by the way. What? Four HP. Oh, that was that yeah. very dangerous. <laughs> yes. Why does the grenade change the gravity in the room? How, no that's a great idea. Question. Enemies can do it too. Enemies can throw a nade and change the gravity. Obviously, you don't want to just wait for them to do it, so you do it yourself. But yeah, it changes the way the props like work in the air. So. Bullet yeah, time physics monolith, based. and uh, if they can explain that, that'd be great. Thanks. Hey, Bullet time monolith? physics based platforming is awesome. <laughs> well, my DMs that. are open. I'm ready to hear about it. Yeah, that is the first pretty wacky trick. Uh, there's a lot of tomato sauce. Don't worry about that. Accidents happen here at the water treatment facility. They found tomato sauce in the water. Not a good thing. Also, here's Alma. 
this is supposed to be like the spooky, jump scary surprise Alma scene. And yeah, no, the, so. this terrified me when I first played this game. <laughs> I was terrified of this game. You know, I was like, I don't know how old I was. Let's see, it's 05, 06, I don't know. I was like 13, maybe. It's not a good game to play at a depressible age. Yeah, it's it's a little scary. Also, you didn't soft lock. Pog. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah Sometimes you can soft lock chance. there. Yeah. It's just if yeah. you if you hold down and right when you're jumping through the window, it'll make it like way more consistent. To be so. injured, although I don't know how he survived. Didn't know that, but I also I didn't have that very often. In this right. Game. Yeah. Maybe like twice. It was fun. You just kind of stare at the sky forever. You can't send him in alone, that's crazy. So Jin thinks that that's crazy, sending me in alone. But something a little crazier than that is uh, this. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, it's a it hidden has... feature of this game. Being a super soldier, you can also kind of bend space, time, and reality. Yes, Mr. Speedrunner, sir, how are you doing that, says the chat. Well, uh, let me explain after I thrust myself into that ladder, thus giving me the ability to float in the air. <laughs> This game is broken, by the way. Yeah. So, this, <laughs> it's, it's really it's broken. Borks, dude. <laughs> so, let me explain how I'm teleporting. It's it's a little trick called quick porting. Uh, you quick save twice, and during that second quick save, you quick load. Uh, you'll probably see on my webcam I'm doing it really quickly, because that's how fast you have to do it. Um, but uh, it sends you to the coordinates 0, 0, 0 on the map. And yes, we're out of bounds. This whole level's loaded in. I'm floating to the exit things are happening but it sends you the coordinates zero 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 and for a bunch of levels in this game zero 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 is very helpful and saves a lot of time um a really really great example of that is coming up after this spooky skeleton hug bring it in brother oh i really needed a hug today too that was nice i'll hug you give you a big <laughs> hug so here's a great example Quick port on this ladder. Use the ladder animation after you've quick ported so that you can climb into this room here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, That's pretty makes... cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. So... The thing that makes quick porting so useful is that it actually maintains ladders and momentum. So, like earlier, he jumped to the left and then quick ported. And yep. he got to keep his momentum from the jump, and that's how he was able to make it back in bounds. If you wouldn't do that, then most of the quick ports actually wouldn't do anything. you just, like, spawn in space and then fall to your death. Exactly. You'd spawn into a death plane. So, super cool stuff. And the whole floating in midair thing, it looks like I'm just thrusting myself into the ladder. But there's, you know, there's a way of doing it consistently. You hold the jump button, and while you're holding the jump button, you press crouch and use at the same time. Uh, the game is very confused at what you're doing, and it just sets your z-axis to not change because it's like, oh, something's wrong. I'm sorry. Can we talk about the chair? I think the chair's coming up. Yeah, it's right here. Good. The white right. room with the chair. You want to yeah, know about it? Yeah, we have to talk it? about the yeah the white room chair. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna sit you there, Max. See if this is overestimate, man. You're gonna have to sit in the chair. <laughs> so here, here's this white room with a chair. Uh, this game. <laughs> It, because everything is just in the game, in the level, if there's like a, a cutscene or something that the game wants you to watch, it'll just send you to a, like a random room. And that is that random room where uh, Paxton Fettel's like interviewing, or interrogating rather, it's not really an interview, it's an interrogation. Uh, and you just get sent to that room to go watch it. It's interesting. Also, yes, that level was about 10 seconds because we quick ported mid jump onto some water pipes, jumped on a steel girder into a vent, and then ended the level by jumping into the, the last room. Yes. Uh, <laughs> game Borkin. It's kind of, I don't know, people do this in real life. They parkour in industrial uh, complexes. Like that happens, right? Yeah, oh, that's, that's the usual. But yeah, uh, this level is pretty straightforward now after we quick port to get farther in it. Uh, there's a cool flashy fight at the end that's gonna be nice and fun to watch, but yeah, I'm, I'm done explaining a lot of stuff. <laughs> this has been a very hectic mouthful of a 10 minutes, but, uh, gentlemen, what do you think of the run? Chat, what do you think of the run? I don't know, man, it's time to, uh, it's time to just punch, right? Actually, we're just gonna melee, yeah, there we go. And just explode people in the pools of blood. Pretty good. I'm sorry, Brian, did you want to say something? Oh, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm loving it so far. I haven't played this game since I think I was probably, you know, around 14, 15 as well. But yeah, it's super neat. And I like seeing the, uh, 
I like seeing the martial arts again because that was something that was really unique about this game that I don't really think we've seen in like an FPS since. <laughs> like that, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> There's not many games you can scissor kick in. No, be but, honest. And we by the way, do, do you use the nail gun at all in this run? Because that was awesome. Unfortunately, not. Dang. You could use the uh, the like the laser gun. Use that one. I don't know yeah, if I remember use the laser, laser gun. gun, the gun. gun. Mm. That'll be much uh, later. This run is like super broken, but it has a nice balance. That's what I like about it. Is like, yeah, the first ten minutes were like super dumb broken. Like that level was like one minute long, not even, right? But then you had like this nice big combat section, and it's gonna be like that for a little bit until we do another big group of skips, and then there's gonna be more combat again. And it goes yeah. back and forth. It's got a nice flow to it. I agree. It does have a nice flow to it. It's one of the reasons why I actually kept running this game for so long. For those of you who like feel like this is familiar, uh, I ran this back at SGDQ 2018, uh, and it's been optimized a lot since then. A lot of cool stuff has been uh, found, a lot of more consistency, so this run you know, Maxie, most likely... that run was my first exposure to you, I think, actually, too. Really? I remember when we, when we met at GDQX later that year, I was like, oh yeah, you're the person that did the fear run at GDQ. Yeah, that's <laughs> uh -huh, pretty cool. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. So this is the Armacan building. The first area in the game is uh, the water treatment plant. And it goes by really quickly. And it's, even casually, it's not that long of an area in the game. This building right here, the Armacan, like official ATC building, this is where a lot of gameplay comes into play. Don't kill. And uh, it, it's, it's definitely like a solid 50% of the game itself. Move, sir, please. <laughs> Just give him the one, two, you know? <clears throat> if words don't work, the fist might. The fist yeah, do, will work. Do we skip that jump scare where you're like, you're crawling through a vent and then Alma comes out at the other side, like crawling yes, through something? Yes, yes. Like we skip that. Okay. Like, I think way that was the biggest ago. jump scare. Okay, I figured. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, when I was playing this game for the first time, that one got me. Yeah, I stopped playing the game for a bit after that, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Oh, dude, uh, it's it's the ladder room, man. I don't know. For oh, me, the, ladder the ladder one's really room. good too, and then they make you take fall damage yeah. from that. That was great. Uh, well, it's she appears at the top of the ladder, then you get down, and it, like immediately after that, there's another jump scare, and that yeah. was just too much for me, man. <laughs> yeah, Pex and Fettles just standing right there. <laughs> next they just to you. really hammer it into your brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so real quick, before we get to the next skip, uh, an eternal enigma, a lovely host. For part of the horror block this evening. Yeah. Let's hear some donations. Sure. There are a ton coming in for you, sir. Uh, we have a $50 donation from somebody you might know, Biddy. Um, mm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best here, all right? <clears throat> Hi, baby. You're gonna <laughs> kick the heck out of this run. Love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> I like that. I, Biddy, I hope I did you proud there. Uh, we have a $100 <laughs> donation from Mitchell H. Who says, looking forward to what is probably one of my favorite runs with some 4.30 a.m. fear. Glad to see AGDQ with some great runs already and definitely more to come. Awesome. Thank you, Enigma. So there's a pretty crazy skip I'm about to do. I'm actually, I got to concentrate. So I'm going to have Waifu explain it. Yeah, cool. Uh, so... For this skip, he's gonna do some really cool stuff here. He's gonna have the ceiling tile not cooperate at all, and it's gonna lose a ton of time. No, uh, and then he's going to kick the ceiling tile into a very specific spot at some point. And, and he's gonna quick save, um, and then throw a grenade so that the grenade will actually lift the ceiling tile into the air, and he's gonna slow-mo and jump off the ceiling tile as it's raising, and this is gonna put him through the ceiling. As you First see. try! That trick is really Dude. hard. Yeah. Yeah, that's hard. Like, the way I set that up is totally different than the way you do it. Uh, and your way might be better. I don't know. First try is a pretty strong uh, and showcase we, of that. Yeah, and then he has yeah. to pixel walk across. And if he falls off, then he'll have to go back from his last quick save. Um, and, and there's several spots there where you can just, like, kind of fall to the ground. So uh, it's a lot harder than it looks to do the out-of-bounds platforming. 
that definitely is a really hard that is usually the one skip that a lot of new runners are like okay how does this work how do i make this consistent what do i do please help so i made that look a little bit easier than it actually is yep can't confirm spent a lot of time workshopping that <laughs> yeah for real a lot of times throwing the nade waiting in anticipation for you to jump and then the nade kills you yeah, there's, there's <laughs> yes. like yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, I've definitely because when you die in this game, you like sink to the ground and your screen goes red. Saw a lot of that. It might be burned into my monitor. It might not be. I don't know. How tight is the nade positioning on that skip? Uh, it's not super tight, but it can it can roll far enough to where like it doesn't even move the ceiling tile. So you got to make sure it's close enough to make the ceiling tile go up, but not too close. Otherwise, it will kill you. I, I cannot believe it. just just to be frank with you for a moment I'm just I'm amazed you don't turn off V-Sync there because I do and I don't know if that makes me funny cheater, but... yeah yeah funny you mentioned that uh, <laughs> higher frame rate makes that harder but I play on 144 so I don't care I just <laughs> that's do it. weird that's weird I, I literally okay I don't know I've, what I, I have ran this game a lot so I'm just used to it now uh, yeah, also uh yeah this skip right here doesn't look flashy no, but this looks annoying though, though. Yeah, yeah it really, is a little it's, annoying, yeah. It's kind of But there is a really specific spot right here on this railing that I'm trying to get into. Yeah, you and can then you can just... kind of look left and then crouch and jump a bunch, and it'll let you get onto the second floor. Oh, I had Take it, it, and then I got that killed. Screen. Body there by that guy? A little bit. Mm. Not not enough, though. Come on, There man. we go, I there, got there it. You go. There, there you go, there you go. Is. Yeah, this Super game has weird, one's... like, physics. There's, like, some weird vaulting you can do or something, right? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, if you get clipped into that railing, like, the game doesn't want you to go up to the second floor. It's like, no, stop. I have weird, I have weird geometry just to stop you. But, like, you look to the left and you spam crouch and jump, and it's just like, oh, never mind, this is acceptable. And yeah, you just and get another jump off. We also kind of glossed over that, but he just, like, Terminator 2 through that wall. Um, <laughs> basically, look, like... If you just stand in a very specific angle and then tap like W and D back and forth, you can just kind of clip through those gates. It's called a gate clip. That one only saves like 20 to 15 seconds or so because the gate will open eventually. But there's going to be another one coming up soon that he has to do. Um, yeah. Otherwise, he has to go like around a long way and like it's basically this rip. So he's going to have to do it. That one, if he doesn't get it, it's not a big deal. But the other one... That's, that's, uh, that was required. Yes. And most runners would, you put it, you know, you put VSIC on to get 60 FPS because it makes that gate clip so much easier. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you don't, you're going to have to get a lot of practice in on it. Obi. Nice. Because, um, nice. yeah, it's, it's not easy to do on a higher frame rate. Also, and now we're done runs with, uh, wait, what? Does the point man run at higher frame rate too? Isn't that yes, a point. We actually mean? have in the rules now that you have to cap your game to 144 because for some weird reason it was only discovered recently that you do run faster on higher frame rate. Nice. One of those games. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. What uh, what engine is this? Is it like Lift an in-house monolith one? Yeah, it's 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 LithTech, the monolith. Uh, mm -hmm. one, of, one of the versions of it. They they've they've done a lot of these. Uh, So got the quad on that slide dude. kick. Holy moly. I like that, uh, were they inside each other? That's that just, that just happens. <laughs> yeah, that just happens sometimes. <laughs> they were, yes. They duplicated. They were all trying to fit through the door and it just was not working. So yeah, real quick, I do... Too. I, Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do want to just point out that these soldiers that you're seeing are like the Armacam security. So these are not synthetic soldiers now, and they're kind of messing things up, but we're going to lights out. Uh, and then the uh, there are, is these one are thing not we lethal haven't explained. Takedowns. Well, that one might be lethal, but the others were not. <laughs> <laughs> so there's one thing we haven't explained yet, and that's uh, how I'm maintaining running speed while crouched. Uh, you bind your crouch button to the mouse wheel up or down it doesn't really matter as long as it's bounded to that um and the game it, it thinks of it as like a toggle crouch but you fit under the little passageway anyways so it it counts you as being like smaller but you're still standing 
Uh, the reason why I'm bringing it up now is because every other instance of doing this in the run thus far has been really fast, so you don't really notice it. But right now, it's very noticeable that I am running at the usual speed, but being crouched at the same time. So, that's... just wanted to point that out there. And, uh, the rest of this level is pretty straightforward. We're gonna do some ladder thrusting really quick. No for, like, fire nice... skips? That's, I didn't do fire skips no, either. No Just way. Fire skip that. is... that's rough. Yeah. It's very ma not marathon safe, so that's why I'm not doing Oh, yeah, for sure. I like, don't even uh, do it in my world record either. Yeah, he had to, uh, he had to turn some valves to stop some fire. You can, uh, heal through the fire, but the fire kind of damages you, like, really fast. It's, it's so yeah. quick so you gotta you gotta spam a lot of med kits you gotta have a, you have to have a lot like eight to ten to just yeah, do eight, one eight I think. to ten yeah it's a brutal strat definitely not suggested but uh yeah the rest of this is um straightforward i think we actually have time for a donation or two oh Really awaiting Mr. Enigma on the mic with some donations. Very ready for the buttery voice. Come on. Spain's dancing for it. Go. Well, in the meantime. In the meantime, we are going to quick port right here. This is called the Sayonara because at the beginning of this level, Norton Mapes shows up uh, and he goes up like. He goes up into a room and deactivates the elevators, and he's like, Sayonara! And we're like, Arr. And so, <laughs> think of this level as like a, a circle, and you're spawning at one point, but you don't go all the way around. You just spot, you quick port to like the end of where, the end of the circle. This sounds really, this is a dumb explanation, but it's the only way to explain it. So that's just how that works. Quick port, good. It's quick port, yeah, good. It's fast. <laughs> you go right. You go right to the origin of the map, wherever that is. And then there's actually another cool uh, trick here that we have not done yet in the run, uh, where we literally climb a wall. We become Spider-Man. Can you, can you, can you hear this me? A lot as well. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm back now. Climb. Whoa. Whoa. Internet. I I heard the call well, for well, donations, well, but then well, it was well, gone. So if I missed that window, back. I apologize. Hey, perfect. Uh, Oh, no, you're good. You can do it as soon as I'm done explaining Pillar Climb, which, uh, walls are weird in this game. Some of them are made in a way where Point Man can kind of get stuck onto them. And if, if, if the wall allows you, you can kind of just jump your way up them. And sometimes it's not helpful at all. But in that case, it is. We just skipped an entire mini boss. Uh, so that's super fun. Uh... And now this next interval is called after image. And we don't really do anything super crazy in after image. So the whole entire time, Enigma, it hit us with them donations. It's it, after image. It's, it's actually like this map, like it's weird. It just suddenly gets broodier, right? In the mood. I don't know. I've always noticed that with this level. Yes, like Paxton Fettel shows up darker. and he kind of is, is saying this weird poetic stuff. It's scary. Yeah, yeah, it's like a it's like a lore map almost. All right, we're still good for donations? All right, excellent. Yes, yeah, we have a $100 donation from Vince who says, this goes to Enigma's choice for the excellent commentary. Incredible Left for Dead run waifu and can't wait for the horror block. We have a $5 donation from JC Mike who says, You have one new donation. New donation from JC Mike. Hi all, JC here. Fear is great because not only does it count as a horror game, but also one of the greatest FPSs of all time. Thank you for running it. End of donation. Thank you. I agree. It's a good one, man. I think it's still... Honestly, I think this game still holds up because, like, the uh, the combat is just really good. Like, you have a lot yeah. of options. You have melee, oh, yeah. you, have, you have mines, you have grenades, you have, you know, some really cool weapons. Uh, a lot of them we don't see, unfortunately, um, because you just run around holstered all the time because that's fast. But, I don't know, like, I think it's still a good play. You know, it's, it's still got the spooks. 
It doesn't look, it doesn't look that bad. Like it's aged, of course. But. Yeah, I, I feel like the only thing that doesn't really hold up is that everything is it's gray and also yeah. brown. You know what? You know, yeah. And I think that's a, and I, I remember noticing that when I was younger playing it too. But I mean, really, like, yeah, that's about it. The level design is amazing. Color palette is definitely a bit dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this uh, this game? And outdoor environments don't really mix. Like you were just outdoors, but you were just surrounded by concrete, so it was didn't really matter. But there's definitely like some spots where you can see the skyline, and otherwise just the outdoors, and it it, it looks a little blurry. You know, it's right. It's not an engine really for that, I suppose. But uh, also the lighting and just the destructive nature of the levels. Like you, you shoot a wall, and you just get like this yeah. massive, yeah. massive like yeah. The crater where you've shot. That's they just were like so pretty cool. ahead of their time with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I agreed. I, I love screwing around with them, man. Like the dynamic lighting was so good. So this is the only level right here where we quick port twice, you know, because you don't usually need to quick port twice because it sends you to the same coordinates every time, right? Uh, mm. But this first one, we're going to quick port to this room and then answer this uh, call or listen to this voicemail rather because the voicemail will trigger the elevator breaking. I like that you land Which... exactly on the door frame. I know, right? Like... Yeah, <laughs> it's so convenient. <laughs> uh, just a little thing for people who have played Fear or want to play Fear and like want to understand the story. Uh, listen to literally every single voicemail you can. Just a heads up. It's most of the explanation of what's going on is is there. Uh, ah! <laughs> oh, okay. did, you, did you do it on purpose? Did Got you, chat. All oh, right, okay. so the second quick port. All right. The second quick port we're going to do after getting on this ladder. And yeah, we're on the same coordinates, but we have this super long ladder to climb out of bounds. And it leads us to this room up here. Yeah, it's a big boy. It's so funny how all this just happens to work out. You know? It's yeah. very coincidental. Yeah. It's like the Indeed. game just fell like face first into being a good speed run. Yeah. <laughs> it's sort of, that's exactly it. All right, so right here, I'm just going to do like a really Whoa. minimal time save, but I, I just go for it no matter it what. It looks fancy. Yeah. It's that's, definitely I, fancy. Yeah. That's, that's a sick point. Do you get any sort of forward momentum from doing the... Flying kicks you get like a that, tiny or? bit of forward momentum, mm. yes, but uh, it's never really needed. Here I need to dispose of these men. Again. All right, this is the one this, that's uh, required. Yeah, this is the the important gate skip. You got to do this one. It sets a, otherwise, like I think the path through the level is just so long. Uh, so slow mo does help with this. You'll see them slow mo sometimes for some tricks or like that. So that's good. Very nice. And now. A, uh, a quick save for safety, and th this is sort of the uh, the start of like uh, a massive combat section. There's so many dudes in this level. You gotta clear out all of the ones, I, I believe, on the top floor. Uh, Max is just gonna drop some mines in some places here. He's gonna drop one at the elevator because some dudes come oh. out the elevator. He's gonna drop one right there. You know, that's that's that that's, that's a choice, man. You know, I never <laughs> dropped one there. That was a good choice. That you know, it works out. 54 HP. We're not worried. It's fine. I love um, the minor back. optimization of standing on the railing just to cut that corner a little bit faster. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it's good. You don't have hops in this game, man. You gotta get your speed somehow. Up from the corners. Uh, so yeah, he's just going through, wasting dudes, grabbing some supplies on the way. A uh, little, little bit of fun in combat. There's a heavy here you gotta take care of. Third in mine. Yeah, that's a good choice. Uh, Alice is here. We have to rescue Alice. Alice, Hi, Alice. is the daughter of Harlan. Harlan is sort of the mastermind oh. of Project Origin. Um, just take out that heavy, just trigger the sequence, trigger the cutscene, trigger some dialogue, and while the dialogue's playing, you can't skip it, can't advance it, so might as well just clear out the rest of the dudes. And, uh, you, can all, you also have some downtime for finding some supplies before escorting Alice, because you kind of have to be, like, right, right next to her to sort of trigger her to, uh, to move. Does so, Alice get risk of dying through this? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Oh, it, it, can, can Alice be killed? Uh, I've never had that happen, which okay. means I don't think so, but I don't know. Nah, really, she's, I was, she's got I was an good, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I, I bounced in, I bounced out with this game. That's sort of, sort of how it happens. Like a trampoline. Bruce said, my world record, and then bye. Gotta go. <laughs> well, you know. True. Out of the That's next true. conquest. Hey, got Maxi back to the game, right? He got the he got the record back. He's yeah, GDQ, like right on. 
You know, but uh, yeah, he's just uh, he's triggered Alice, and now if you go to the elevator here, where'd that mine go? I guess the mine already went. Yeah, but I, I would I just... say the severed leg is a good indication of where the mine went. Oh, you know, that's <laughs> yeah, that's that's good evidence. Yeah, bag that one. We're gonna need that in the lab. And Alice yeah, is on her way. She's gonna be here uh, eventually. Yeah, this is the laser gun, Bri. That we mentioned this one earlier. This is yeah, the laser yeah, yeah. gun. Yeah, uh, I remember this now. Yeah, it's got a nice sound, honestly. It's like phew. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna kind of hit a couple of levels here, and there's gonna be enemies to shoot with the laser gun. Other than that, we're just chilling with the uh, the elevator oh. tunes. But uh, yeah. I do have a question for for chat. All the floors lighting up? Chat, do you want to know Alice Wade's deepest, darkest secret? Um, I don't know if I do. She's also a cannibal. I mean, how that how that tomato sauce get on her? You know, close. I don't know. Actually, you're leaving me in suspense. Anything I say from this point is going to be really go dumb, again. so I don't want to keep <laughs> guessing. <laughs> An astounding yes from the chat. All right, prepare yourselves. Prepare yourselves. So, Alice Wade, daughter of Harlan Wade. Uh, Paxton's coming after her because, you know, she's related to the project. But there's one thing that Paxton doesn't know. She, she has wet toes. Oh my She's God. an otter. <laughs> that is so stupid. Barefoot out here, man. Barefoot out here. That is stupid. Why does she have webbed toes? <laughs> She's an otter. <laughs> we we well, know she was... can't hide this anymore. She's, an, it... she's an auditor? <laughs> what? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, she's an otter. Oh. Oh. Oh, I was, I'm, man, I'm on like three hours of sleep. I was racking my brain. I'm like, I don't, why are we laughing? <laughs> Maxi, where, what were you, how did you decide that you wanted to tell this joke on, on your GDQ stage? <laughs> I, 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 I don't even know. I'm here All right, for it. So, if you have seen this run at, at SGDQ 2018, you, you didn't get to see this get skip because this is new. This is something we didn't do before. Uh, oh, man. This right here is the window skip. We're gonna. See, I do this, this with chair. the. Uh, I do this with the bucket in the corner. So this is already off course for me. I, I enjoy the bucket, honestly. I've, I've had the, the bucket work. Honestly, the bucket is faster, but it is less consistent. But yeah, we're gonna beat up this chair with this laser beam. Uh, it's a sturdy chair though, so don't worry. And then. We're gonna slide kick, and hopefully it'll just send Ooh, us right through the yep, just like that. Oh, no, that's fast! That was so, fast. <laughs> yeah. so very nice, very nice. I I, I don't know why, but like the chair being on its back and then slide kicking into the legs while it's on its back is the perfect height for you to slide kick through that window. Um, any other setup is a little bit more finicky, but doable, uh, as as Fru said. You know, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. is actually a faster <laughs> setup. But the guarantee of you actually slipping through the window is definitely uh, lower. I don't know. I just want to slide kick a mop bucket every now and then. You know, it's just like how it goes. Wait a second. So that was the window skip. That was brand new. Uh, but this one is not brand new, and it's also like the most finicky, weirdest thing in the game. I'm just gonna jump on this laptop and I'm gonna shoot it with a shotgun. Oh, this and looks things not are gonna, at all. Things are gonna happen. And that's gonna be cool. This is such a we I have no idea why this works, but he's trying does, to set his feet through the computer. It does basically. literally warp you, yeah. And it's very sometimes finicky. it warps you in good places, and sometimes it doesn't oh, just like oh, that. Okay, oh my sure. God. Yeah. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was great. Right on the railing, too. That's a good one. It's a good warp. Well good done. Good stuff, yeah. Solid you Dell computer. Is this the biggest skip in the game here, would you say? No. This is, no? Uh, I think the one. biggest skip in the game is the second to last skip. 
which is uh, oh, floppy? just the vault, uh, the vault skip. Not floppy, yeah. but the vault skip. Oh, vault skip, yeah, okay. Yeah, because yeah, even in no out of bounds, that, that level is long. So. Yeah, like you literally just fly it in. Like you can see how much you're skipping, like all of that, uh, I don't know, parking level. garage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that yeah. one of those things that was just discovered accidentally? Because that seems like that's one of those things that you just discovered There's two on different accident. setups for it, so... I would say yes, but then, like, there was a lot of testing to see exactly why it works. And, right, uh, of course. there's a couple setups for it. That one is just the one I do. I'm just most comfortable with But there's another one where you just walk into the laptop, and it just sends you to the second floor as well. I, so think, I think that's how I did it, yeah. I tried to yeah, do that. just, like, weird mouse flick. That's probably placebo. I don't know, but... <laughs> I found so the now we're coming up to a level it. called Urban Decay. Uh, we're out of the Armacan building. That part of the game's done. We're, we're gonna go try and find the underground lab that is hidden from everyone. That's where Project Origin was worked on and whatnot. Um, but Urban Decay is pretty short. It's really not much to explain, so I'm actually going to let Enigma take over for quite a while to slam out some donations. Well, that's a good thing, because we've got a lot. Uh, you're very popular right now. We have a $25 donation from Dalf32 says, had to donate during one of my favorite runs, Fear. Good luck, Maxi, and let's get that Wand of Gamelon yeah, run okay. unlocked. But the pilot's dead and Jen's banged up we have $5 bad. from DMC Dante oh, PNW yeah. says, Hiya, Maxi. Good luck on your Fear run, Floppy right. Disk FTW. Oh, yeah. You sure you want to send them $25 along? from Mariner Hawk, who says, Pagman, this is the run. I love you, Maxi. Thanks for the great streams, and I hope you do great in the run. Smiley face. Pagman, thank you. $25 from Guzzle Gut, who says, had to donate during my favorite spooky runners. Spooky run. Good luck and have fun, Maxi. Well, we're having lots of fun. $25 from Nitz666, who says, Donating for one of my favorite streamers who inspired me to start speedrunning. Good luck on the run. We're all rooting for you. $25 from Casuality, who says, We've been expecting this run. It was foretold by Gyromancy. <laughs> $5 oh, like from it. Moon, who says, Pagman, this is the run. Let's go, Maxi, on this Oh, my field. God. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry to be the talk over. You just threw You better be sorry, Fru. Yeah, my bad. It's just, I, I, I had to exclaim. I don't know. Well, he's dead now, so it's that's okay. how it happens. <laughs> me, and you, me and you have a past. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, I hope a good one. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, it's it's Sterling. It's wonderful. All do right, we still have time for more, or do we need to take back over? Maxi? Keep going, keep going. Keep going? All right. <laughs> we have a, just making sure, we have a $100 donation from S or Spouton4. Says, happy to be able to donate a bit more this year and glad to see Maxi playing one of my favorite horror games. Let's show cancer has something to fear. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice. 25, $25 from Saich, who says, I fear I have to donate during Maxi's run as always. Keep it up, stay safe and beat cancer. Maxi, yeah. Maxi, uh, I'm sorry, you can do one more. Buddy. Okay, this is a good one. This is worth it. Uh, we have a $50 anonymous donation who says, a haiku, F-E-A-N-R, creepy scent doll guards the lamp, wand of Gamelon. <laughs> Very topical. So well done, well done. Fantastic. Yeah, what you all just saw there was me throwing a grenade. I messed up really, really badly, and then I tried doing it again, which I probably shouldn't have done because it killed me. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was the a second, sequence. The I'll second one made me worry a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. You saved it with the sick parkour on the outside section. I was actually I, that was what I was going to say. I was really impressed with how I fast wanted to that ask was. if that was if that was hard because it looked really precise. So I don't know why, but it's it seems to me that the window skip is just very different for a lot of runners. Uh, I, I've mm. always had an easier time with it, and I think it's it might have something to just do with like FPS. I I don't know. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the, like trying to jump on those outside little like window sills is kind of just different for everybody. Mm. I didn't like it. It felt inconsistent to me, and I, I've spent a lot of time doing 
platforming in 3D environments. So I would I would say that you know I'm a, a, a subject matter authority, but um, even still, you know I, I still fell to my death uh, a number of times. So uh, you know that's how it goes. Anyway. Wasn't there a part of this game where you, like you you pilot a mech or something? Was that this part? No, that's no. Am I thinking of something else? That's yeah, the second that's, game. Yeah, that's the second game. But there are mech warriors in this game that like yeah. you're supposed to fight and. Most of them are optional, mm. so, but like the ones in Fear 2 are way bigger. Mm. Awesome. But yeah, actually, we can just keep on going with donations. Wait a second, I have a quick question, Maxi. Go for it. You, s how, how is a cannibal close to an otter? <laughs> because, <laughs> because Casey said cannibal, and you said no, that's close. Yeah, that's close. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? Yeah. Okay, I do have some questions. Yeah, that's uh, definitely. Oh. <laughs> At this time, you can edit that is... because you just got hit by a truck. I like how you just realized this, Brian. It's like it's like 10, 15 minutes. It's been racking your brain. Like clearly, some level of subconscious is still chewing that fat, and I think that's a That's excellent. Um. Also, it's that a, APC jump question. is scary every time. Like, every time I ran this game yeah. and I got to the APC, I had to jump over it. Actually, it, I think it caught me off guard a couple times where I was just like, I forgot what to do, so I just get crushed. Um, but on that note, you know, we can we can do some donations, if, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, we got time. Let's go. Okay, we, we, still have, we still have plenty. We have a $10 donation from Clowns, who says, On behalf of our tiny but mighty Fear Run community, good luck, have fun, and don't flop on Floppy. I will do my best, Sir Clowns. $25 from Snapcaster Mage, who says, The first GDQ run I ever saw was Maxi running Fear, and from that run, I've been hooked on horror speedruns since. Shoutouts to him, of course, and my coach, who's taught me so much about marbles and bus tickets. I think they're talking about me. <laughs> horror block forever. We have an anonymous $50 donation who says, When Fear came out, my friend asked, Shouldn't they do recon before assault? And I have never been able to forget that. <laughs> That's so smart. <laughs> we have $50 from Scary Carrie who says, Glad I made it back for the friendly block. That's what fear stands for, right? Friends eating apples reasonably? Anyways, glad I won't be spooked. Good luck. We have a $250 donation from Black Tongue who says, I had to donate during one of my favorite games of all time. Fear is a masterpiece. All right, so this is kind of important, I think, right? This, uh, what's going on here? Ladder. Yeah, so I just traded the laser gun for the gravity blaster thingamabobber. I don't know what it's actually called. I just call it that. So yeah, that gun is going to be very important for the skip that we're going to do after this skip which is uh we just call it early entry we're just floating towards the exit of this level uh, and it's the entrance to the secret underground laboratory yeah it's sort of the final like story beat i guess in the uh in the game is is getting into the vault um right the vault where i think alma is sealed away uh and harlan is trying to release her and of course we know how that goes fear two um <laughs> and then fear three i suppose um but yeah, this is sort of the elevator shaft, I think. Yeah. Now vault. we're now we're going in the vault and we're doing a uh, skip called the Doge skip, where I'm gonna jump forward and use the forward momentum after the quick port that I do to oh try to get to the ladder. Oh my god, that's that not cool. easy. That is not yeah. easy. <laughs> well done. Stuff is not easy. But the important part about the gravity gun is that we're going to switch to the shotgun during the ladder glitch, which actually switches the bullet values of these two guns. So I'm shooting shotgun oh. ammo right now, but the gravity gun is an area of effect weapon, so it's going to actually Yo. bump us up the vent. But That's we're not really going to do cool. damage to ourselves. Yeah, it's a super cool skip, and I just did it, and very cleanly, and that is really hard, and I made it look really easy, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, that was, that was very dope. crisp. That is, that whole that is probably the hardest trick in the game. Yeah, oh. Is, uh, is, is that quick port into the ladder grab, I would say. At least for me, but that, was, that was really hard. That's awesome. Why, why is it called the doge skip, though? Uh, cause this interval is called lap dog. Oh, oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> That's cute. See? That's cute. Of also, course, that chocolate man. milk is explosive. Wow, I didn't know that. I, I didn't yes. know there was milk there. Was it actually uh, milk? No, it's not. I just call it oh. chocolate milk. 
Oh, uh, like okay. a flammable oh, chocolate this. milk. Oh, I don't, okay, so right. the the Doge skip, super flashy, super crazy, not as big as this skip, which is not super cool and super flashy. You just kind of quick port after the ladder and then climb into this room, and boom, you've skipped the longest interval in the entire video game. Well, yeah, that's also that's, that's also convenient. kind of a hard one. Yeah, that one. It can it can be finicky. Uh, a little but bit, I think, yeah. I think we're here, Maxi. Is it time? It's time for the floppy boost. Probably even, my even favorite I'm aware trick. of this skip. This thing is so yeah. cool. This one's pretty dope. If I do mess it up, it's the sloppy floppy. So hopefully we don't get a sloppy <laughs> we floppy. Don't want, we, don't want, we don't want sloppy floppies, no. So we're going to lean to the right, just because these doors close if we go too far into this room. Yeah, you got to get the floppy out here. And of course, this is, you know, basically a prop boost. Um, a fairly precise one, because you have to jump off of a th this tiny thing and uh, yep. land in an elevator. So let's uh -oh. see how that goes. Well, you know, can't first try everything, Maxi. Well, we can well, that's second try good. it. Oh, oh never mind. No. What? That looks, that looks good. Hey, you actually gotta, you gotta like bounce off of it twice. There we go. Whoa, so, oh, God, wow. that's so cool, dude. That is that so is cool. Awesome. Third try will do. That's good. I'll clap for A that. A sloppy yeah, floppy, yeah, but yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. We, we clap that's for floppies. Enough. <clears throat> Clapping for the floppies. Yeah, that was like a that wasn't a slop. That was more like a greasy floppy. You know what? You're right. You're right. Yeah. Bullet time physics abuse platforming is just like probably one of the coolest things about this game, if not the coolest, as a speed run anyway. I agree. It, it is really sick. Like there, there's so many crazy things in this run, uh, but being able to use like the the bullet time for a lot of them, it's, it just looks really cool. You know, I, 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 I made a bad choice today. You know, I had like four or Oreos instead of two, uh, but I did not unleash an evil on the world the way this man has and then promptly <laughs> uh, die. So, you know, in, in hindsight, my bad choice, not as bad as his. That's like a truly disastrous choice. Yeah, Harlan, <laughs> uh, opening, opening the vault. Pretty bad idea comparable to eating too many oreos but not <laughs> quite comparable to otters and cannibals you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i guess also lumping those two together not a great idea but uh it's just sort of sort of the final sequence here right more or less yeah uh, um there's really only one more trick we're going to be doing and uh we, we just call it the spidey it's more <sighs> it's more uh wall climbing and it actually doesn't look like it's going to skip a whole lot but it really does. It does skip a really large chunk of this level. This, this ending sequence with Alma here coming out of the vaults and just havoc. another casual pillar climb. But it's not. Oh, really, yeah. It's not a pillar. It's just a corner. It's like yeah. those those like slanted walls, forty five degree angles. Those are weird for some reason. You just go up those. That was kind of scary too. You fell. I, I was gonna say I have definitely lost a run to PB pace here after doing all the hard tricks, and then you fall off the pillar climb and die. Yeah, the fall uh, damage is brutal in this game. <laughs> Yeah, this is also like this. This is a uh, kind of when the game goes off the rails a bit because you just have ghosts appear now. Yeah, I, <laughs> right. Yeah. As soon as those little black uh, clouds appeared, I was like, "Oh, dude, I hated these enemies." Yeah. It's it's just kind of odd because they like they try to run into you and they explode and they do damage. It's very weird. Yeah. It's strange. Yeah. But. Yeah, this is the escape sequence, more or less. This game uh, does not have a happy ending. No, it's a super dark story. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, if you all want to look it up or play it yourselves, go for it. But uh, I ain't going to explain any of it. A bad ending in, a, in my horror game? Dude, oh, unthinkable, unthinkable. Unthinkable. So uh, yeah, this, this last sequence of escaping uh, is a pretty good time for some last donations. So take it away, Enigma. All right, will do. We've got an anonymous $400 donation. And, oh. this, one's, uh, and this one says, fear. Love what you guys are doing. Gamalon, Gamalon, Gamalon. That's our next bonus game, by the way. <laughs> I've got to get this one out of the way. It's just jumping out at me. We have $25 from King TDN. I apologize in advance. The message says, Ah! <laughs> Thank you for the $25. Yeah. 
<laughs> your your mic clipped just a Did little bit out? at the yeah. beginning. So it yeah, was just sounds like you went, ah. Let me try yeah. that again. Twenty five dollars from King TDN says, Ah, oh, they, they try it. Try it. I got it, King T T TDN. Thank you. Um, we have fifteen dollars from T Money Thirty Three, who says, "Go, Maxi, go! You got me into speed running, and I'm so happy for it." Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Thank you, thank you. That's going to Zelda. Fifty dollars from Scruff Seventy Seven, who says, "I try and donate every time Maxi Loaves runs at GDQ. He's my favorite speed runner, so here's fifty dollars to Runner's Choice." Thank you. More money for Gamelon. <laughs> yep. That, if you if anybody donates for a, a host choice, that's also mine. Gamble. Uh, we have twenty five dollars from NMC Gaming, who says, "Let's kick cancers behind like Point Man does to so many baddies." You are killing it, Maxi. Oh, thank you. I just want to say, with regards to like Wand of Gamelon. I don't know, man. Anytime I see CDI on the uh, on the games list, I'm like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, there. Put, it, <laughs> put, it, put it in my veins. It's yep. so good. Uh, but yeah, Max is just sort of uh, going through, like we said, the final sequence. This is kind of scary. She can kill you instantly if you touch her, and that was very close. Uh, of course. I made it close on purpose. <laughs> well, thanks, man, because I was trying to keep my composure for you, and I think I did. I think I did a good job. You did uh, this is this is the final kill. Um, the colon, dude. Shoot her in the face. Yeah, just shoot oh, her yeah. in the face a few times. No. And I mean, I don't really know what that means in the context of like the story or the game. You know, I don't really know what the sequence is supposed to tell you. Cause like, oh, did you vanquish the evil? Well, I'm not sure because it doesn't end well anyway. So. Right. Yeah. You also, you get a really good view of Harlan's stash here, so Take back to the a good man with terrible intentions, but he had a really good mustache. Also, spoiler <sighs> alert, you're almost daughter. Wait, what? What did you just do? What? What are you yeah, doing? This is the thing. What? Yes. I did, I didn't, what? I've never done this. I've never <laughs> seen that. that. That is the, I had the world record for this game. That's the first time <laughs> I've seen that. Uh, I've yeah, never you can seen break that, that cutscene by just mashing jump. Oh, oh, well, sad yeah. easy. Okay. Okay. Game Borken. Well, everything's fine. Yeah, we're finally out. Thank uh, goodness. Oh, no. That place is in the open and the... Oh! Yeah, it's not, it's not as great. Oh. Well, that's upsetting. What are we going to do about the new coming what out is, of Maxi? Wait, what, is the, what does the newspaper say <laughs> about this? We're going to read the newspaper. Top science is missing. Top science is missing. Whoa. <laughs> that explains everything. It should say top mustache missing. Have you seen this mustache? Uh, I think time <laughs> is coming up now, yeah? Yep. Very soon. Get ready on time. And... Nice. Yo, GG, man. GG. Well, that is well done, fear G -G. any percent. You Very are nice like job. right at estimate. Yeah. Wait, really? What's the time? Yeah. Oh, nice. There you go. You know what's funny? During my practice runs, I got three 5505s. <laughs> well, <laughs> not even consistent. kidding. So, Insane. And just, I'm just going to put this out there. Like, this is a really tight estimate. I did not give myself much breathing room. So. Uh, I'm pretty proud of that. That was that was a really good run. Anywhere close be. to estimate was a good run. So, yeah, like here's the thing with estimates. Like it's an estimate. You don't have to be underestimate every oh, time. Yeah. You can be. It's an estimate. You're, you can be around estimate. Um, exactly. But still, that is overestimate. So you do have to sit in the chair, Max. Oh, so, that's true. Oh, that's right. the interrogation chair. Pax and Fettle, please. I've been through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, thank you so much for, for watching and supporting a great cause with all those awesome donations. Thank you so much. You guys are all so great. Um, thank you to my couch, my wonderful couch, Waifu, KZ for Brian Otto. Any final words from you two? Or three, rather? <laughs> uh, I just want to say thank you for having me on here. It was like, I mean, you saw how stoked I got when you asked me. I just I appreciate you having me around here. So, yeah, thanks Absolutely. for thanks for letting me share the space with you. And, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just great hanging out with you all. So thank you very much. Awesome. <laughs>
uh, yeah, this was uh, really fun, man. Thank you for having me along. Glad to tag along. Glad to uh, glad to run this game. Um, glad you turned me on to it. It was a great time. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, dude. Thanks so much for having me. It was, it's awesome time as always. If you guys don't, you should definitely go check out Maxi. He uh, yeah. is what got me into a lot of the games that I run, not just Fear. So really cool. Yeah, dude. I run a ton of games, uh, 30 plus at the moment. Some I don't really run too much anymore, but uh, I stream them all full time on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Maxi Lobes. Um, so follow me there. Come hang out. Uh, it's at Maxi Lobes on all my socials. So if you want to find me on Twitter or YouTube or anything, just hit up that. And uh, yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank you all again very much. And shout out to GDQ for having us. Thank you, thank you. And enjoy the rest of the marathon. Good night. All right, that was Maxi Lobes with Fear. Thank you very much, Maxi, for that amazing run of Fear, entertaining couch as well. And thank you for all the donations that have come in. We're about, we're a little less than 18,000 away from half a million. And we had a few more that came in during that run. Uh, let me get to one here. We had a $100 donation from Rob K, who says, thanks for keeping me entertained through an incredibly tough year and incredibly tough time these last few months. Maxi Love, here's to a better 2021. All right, we'll be right back after a few moments.
All right. Uh, coming up next, before our next run, we have an interview coming on with one of our spooky game runners. Kizaron is here with our haunting ground runner, Ekdysis. Hello, everyone. Kizaron back yet again. You've seen me like 500 times today. I swear this is the last time today. I'm joined by Ekdysis, who you don't have a blindfold on this time. Yeah, well, uh, somewhere around my room. I don't know. Where, oh, there it is. Found it. See? I feel like you should wear that as like a headband to like kind of give you like, you know, the, the runner power. Kind of you know, but... Embrace that, uh, <laughs> embrace that love that Night Trap got from, uh, from the last GDQ. But we're not here to talk about Night Trap. We're here to talk about the 90 plus other games that you run for like 100 million different runs. They're, they're all like horror games or horror game adjacent. So I'm, I'm really curious. Why, first off, so many games? And second off, what really got you into doing all these horror games? Uh, so let's start with the second one first, because that kind of leads into the other one. Sure thing. Uh, horror, because I always kind of grew up with horror. Like, so far as I can remember, I was watching Jaws every year with my mom. Uh, there was a horror stuff around the house. I remember watching Carrie at a young age. Probably not the best idea, but, you know, <laughs> I mean, a lot of horror stuff. I remember watching a lot of horror movies. So it all kind of clicked well. And then just when I was learning speedruns, uh, horror games are really the ones to stick. I tried other games. I just didn't like them as much. I did like Clock Tower. I did Sound of Homecoming. And I did a bunch of other ones. Then after like 10 games or so, I was like, I only do horror games. I'm just going to keep doing that. <laughs> and Fair then, enough. Uh, for the so many one, it's just because for a while I couldn't really learn games that often. So I was like, I'm going to keep learning games. It was more fun than just doing one game, I felt. And admittedly, a lot of the horror games are kind of niche and smaller so it's nice to kind of go between all of them yeah and just kind of as an aside we were talking before we came on for the interview about how expensive a lot of these horror games have become especially because covid has limited like the production of games and just the overall delivery of getting stuff to people we're talking yeah. like super expensive games like you were telling me that haunting ground is like super expensive right now yeah yeah i always like to just Pull out Haunting Ground because it's really expensive. It is like I think four hundred now. It may have gone up so crazy. just because uh yeah, there's a few reasons for it, but it ended up becoming really rare because of the PS2 life cycle and just people not really picking it up as much. Which also means not a lot of people speed run it because not a lot of people know about it. So now speaking of the speed run, um, you are running first off, uh, this is just half of the category that I'm talking about right now, but you're running New Game Plus. And I'm really quite curious right. what the difference is between just a regular new game run and then like what benefits accrue because you're doing new game plus so the only real differences between new game and new game plus is in new game you don't get any of the like extra items so to speak uh meaning you have no stamina and uh fiona the main character will all just be kind of holding her side and just running much slower so new game plus is nice because you don't have those weird drop-off points you have to route in the stamina items i think they're chamomiles in the game but you don't have to route those in. It's like just six things you don't need to pick up. It makes the run safer, and it's just more fun in general, so it's quite nice. And then as well, you get bonus costumes. Like, I think the frog actually got met. So, the frog. <laughs> we get to see a frog running around. Now, you also are running a game where there's multiple endings, and I looked up the leaderboards. So let me clear my throat real quick. Sorry. <clears throat> but uh, you, you, uh, you're running the A ending. And there's also a C ending, but I didn't notice a B. So where where B B? B is not there because it's mean. Fair Haunted enough. Ground, we don't like the mean endings. There are two endings that are really mean. We don't like doing them because they make us sad. That's the whole reason. Uh, a ending's also faster. It's faster to be nice. So be good people, you get rewarded. It's just simple things, <laughs> right? Uh, but no. B ending, you end up just killing the first boss. Like, you just beat him until he dies, which I guess oh, is what the B stands for. That's that's not nearly as entertaining. But um, <laughs> I kind of I kind of want to go back, though, to uh, talking about like all the horror games that you run and whatnot. Uh, I think it's kind of a nice little tie in. So uh, what a lot of people at home that are watching the main GDQ events might not know is we have pretty much weekly shows uh, throughout like any time between the events. Uh, we call them GDQ Hotfix shows, and you actually are hosting a show, are you not? Correct. It's a... Uh, uh, go ahead. No, no, you, you go ahead. <laughs> oh, it's just a new show called Speedruns in the Crypt, which is just kind of showcasing more horror block stuff, because I like horror games, I like horror game runners, and I like being able to share this with people, because it's quite fun. 
uh, it's also kind of weird because um, my my grandma found out I have a horror show and she started calling me Sven Gulli, so it's interesting. <laughs> Now, when's the next episode of Speedruns from the Crypt going to be on? January 20th, and uh, the theme we have for that one is rooms, because I felt like there's a lot of fun games that kind of uh, have you going through a lot of different rooms, so to speak. Now, speaking of fun games, I do want to mention another game, uh, one that you will be running, not tonight, but soon enough. You're going to be running The Mummy. Yes, I'll be and running The Mummy. I, I want to know absolutely... Well, I, I want to know two things. I want to know if it's actually based on the movie, yes or no. Which movie? Yes. <laughs> it's based on the good movies. Okay, okay. So that, that's, that's all right. Now, the real question is, if you had one sentence to describe what to expect when you're running The Mummy, what should we expect? PlayStation 1, Brendan Fraser. I mean, that's... Do we, do we really need to say anything? Do you want anything? Do you want to say anything else? I, I'm pretty sure that's... I have a fun surprise for that run that's going to be, I guess, kind of a callback to last year's Mummy run. So it should be fun with that. Last year was the, the good Mummy game, the Mummy Demastered by uh, Code Piece, and he did a great job for that one. So this will be a bit of a callback to that one, just kind of showcasing the, you know, the, the not good Mummy game. <laughs> <laughs> Well, with that, everyone, be sure to tune in, not only for Haunting Ground, which is going to be not too long from now, but uh, also be sure to tune in Thursday early for The Mummy because Egg Dices is an awesome runner and you should definitely check out the runs. Thank you for your time, man. I appreciate it. And we're going to throw it back up to Enigma. Take care, everyone. Thank you for having me. All right, Kizaron, Ignisus, thank you both very much. And yes, the frog costume incentive did get met, uh, so that will be a thing. Let me tell you about another incentive we have coming up here that I feel like needs a little bit of attention. We have a run coming up in a few hours, Golden Sun. There's a pretty big incentive for the Mialis uh, Saturos option. It's at $15,000. It's only at fifteen, about 1500 right now. That one needs some... That one needs... Uh, that one needs some love, so make sure you get that one in there as well coming up next we have uh, still getting set up we have teddy russ with carrion to continue the spooky games block that will be a thing we have a few more donations here we had a 100 dollars donation from anonymous who said you asked i answered enigma put it to reader's choice well thank you anonymous We had a few more donations that came in for Maxi. We had a $100 donation from Hyugen who said, let's go, Maxi. I always love AGDQ and the great cause. Just want to remind everybody real quick that Awesome Games Done Quick 2021 Online is brought to you. We've all come together to benefit the Prevent Cancer Foundation. The Prevent Cancer Foundation was founded in 1985. They're a United States-based nonprofit organization. Their mission is to save lives across all populations through cancer prevention and early detection by focusing their work through research, education, outreach, and advocacy. Their vision is to stop cancer before it starts. You can find out more information about PCF at preventcancer.org. Speaking of,